with the goals have come the achievements but there are certain defects also shortcomings also and we are going to see towards those shortcomings as coin has two sides so there are achievements and failures the first failure that we can see in the indian economy is that there is an abject poverty that is there are still people who are living without the basics that is food clothing and shelter there are people who do not get two times of meal they are just from hand to mouth there are people who are just not able to get any meal for number of days so there is deep rooted poverty in india which has to be removed the second shortcoming is the mounting inflation now the rates of the things are growing every day we see that things are becoming expensive every day and there are people who are becoming from rich to richer and there are people who are following drastically below the third failure is unemployment crisis whatever we may boast of but still in india there is shortage of jobs there are people who are still aspiring to work they are qualified they have the skills they have the knowledge expertise but they do not get the job so unemployment still remains a very big factor in the indian economy next is deficient infrastructure when i talk of when i spoke of the achievements i told you that india can boast of international infrastructure but this infrastructure is meant only for few cities in india the metros in india there are villages far flung areas where there is nothing like infrastructure where people do not have proper roads where people do not have proper means of sanitation where nothing is available so we have to improve upon the basic infrastructure of the country then there is skewed distribution that is to say of course there is a growth in the economy of the country economic growth is there but it is not properly distributed between the people that is between the urban areas and the rural areas between the rich and the poor educated and the uneducated and so on so unless all of us do not get our proper share we cannot boast of an all true good economy therefore the government of india has resorted to measures like reservation for the economically and socially backward classes to see that there comes about equality in the country so these were the shortcomings or failures of the economy but india has changed its economic planning after 1991 and this is called as the new economic planning this new economic planning has its focus strategies on different areas and aspects and we shall be talking in detail about the new economic policy in the 6th chapter and that was all about your chapter thank you